In all of the videos so far, we've been looking at either finding the probability or finding the value that gives us a probability. In the next few videos, we're going to be looking at finding the mean or the standard deviation, or even both. In this question, we're told the random variable x follows a normal distribution with mean mu variance of 5 squared, and the probability that x is less than 18 is equal to 0 0.9032. We need to find the value of mu, so we want the mean. We can convert this into the standard normal. We know the standard normal, z, will follow the normal distribution with mean 0 and variance 1. To make the conversion, we do exactly what we've been doing in the previous videos. We simply state z will be equal to x minus mu divided by sigma, or if you like, x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So let's apply it to this case, then all we'll need to do is go to the standard normal table and read our value. So in this particular case, we're being told the probability of x being less than 18 is 0 0.9032. So what I'm now going to do is make this substitution. And I'm going to say the probability that z is less than, and all I'm going to do now is put this in. So x in this particular case will be 18. So we have 18 minus mu. Mu is what we need to find, and we divide this now by the standard deviation. This is the variance, so the standard deviation is going to be 5. We're told that this is going to be equal to 0 0.9032. I simply need to look at this value now in our standard normal table. So where are we? 0 0.9032. So we can see that value gives us 1.3 just here. So what I can now write is the following. I can say 18 minus mu, which is a mean, divided by 5 is going to be equal to 1.3. We've got a basic equation and we just need to solve for mu. Multiplying both sides by 5, 18 minus mu is going to be equal to 6.5. Adding mu to both sides, subtracting 6.5, 11.5 will be equal to mu. And we found that value. So nice and straightforward. We haven't even bothered with a sketch. OK, let's now look at another one. The random variable x follows a normal distribution, mean 11, and variance sigma squared. And the probability of x being greater than 20 is equal to 0 0.01. We need to find the value of sigma. So in this case, we're looking for the standard deviation. So this time around, what we're going to say then is the probability that z, we're going to make this substitution, is greater than 20. What we'll have then is 20 minus 11 divided by sigma is going to be equal to 0 0.01. We now have to think about this and just consider what we've got. I said I wasn't going to draw, but I kind of can't help myself, I suppose. Here's a bit of a drawing. We're interested in this area right here. And this is one of our tail probabilities where we have 0 0.01. So what we're going to do is go to our percentage points table. So let's go to that and find 0 0.01. So where are we? Here we are. Uh, we want this one, don't we? So 0 0.01. So what we've got then is 23263. So 2.3263. .3 so let's put this here. 2.3263. We can say that this is going to be now equal to 20 minus 11, which is going to end up giving me 9, divided by sigma. So if I just swap these over, I can now say 9 divided by 2.3263 will be equal to sigma. And then we'll just uh, push it through a calculator and get a value for sigma, which is the standard deviation. So let's do that then. Uh, 9 over 2.3263. And we end up with 3.86 and so on and so forth. I'm going to round that to three significant figures. So we're going to say 3.8. Seven. So the value of mu, uh, sorry, the value of sigma, correct, three significant figures, is 3.87. Okay, let's do another one. The random variable y follows a normal distribution, mean mu, and variance of 40. So just be a little careful on this one. We know that sigma in this case is going to be the square root of 40. So what's square root of 40? Uh, 2 root 10, if you wish, or I would generally leave it like so. And we've got now mu is equal to mu.
So we're told now the probability that y is less than 25 is going to be 0 0.15, and we need to find the value of mu. So let's consider our uh, transformation. What we're going to have then is the probability of z being less than. What we need then is 25, so it's going to be 25 minus mu divided now by root 40. Okay, don't make the error of putting 40 in. And we're told that that is going to be equal to 0 0.15. Now, let's consider, and I said, okay, and I said I wasn't going to sketch. In this case, what we're going to have is the following. We're going to have some scenario looking approximately like this. The area we're interested in now is 0 0.15. This, again, is off our tail probability list. So it's going to be off the percentage points table. Consider though, we generally have the percentage points table gives us now when we have a positive value. So it will give us this one right here. So whatever that value is, all I need to do is make it negative. So let's have a look at that, 0 0.15. So 0 0.15, so normally it would be 1.0364, so it needs to be minus that value. So what we're going to have then is minus 1.0. 3, 6, 4. And that will be equal now to 25 minus mu divided by root 40. So do a bit of uh, sort of messing about with it and rearranging it. What we're going to have 25 minus mu is going to be equal now to root 40. And then we're going to have that multiplied now by, so let's put minus there, 1.0364. So we can now say that 25 plus root 40 multiplied by the 1.0364 will be equal to, adding mu to both sides, this value right here. You can rearrange that however you see fit. So let's just whack that for a calculator. So we've got 25 plus now root 40. So let's do that, root 40. And we're going to now multiply this by 1.0364. And that will give us the value. So what do we end up with now? 31.55 and so on. So I'm going to say to three significant figures, this is going to be 31.6. And again, I'd be inclined to just put the, uh, my, my uh, calculator answer on and then just round to three significant figures.